Sandown International Raceway was the site for round three of the Victorian Circuit Racing Championships. Run by the Australian Sports Sedan Association, the Sandown Round is traditionally known as the Hot Dog Round. Thanks to the efforts of the organisers in providing plenty of hot dogs and hot soup to the army of trackside volunteers on what is traditionally one of the coldest race meetings for the year. Although the temperature struggled to reach double figures, it was fine and sunny on Sunday after Saturday was hit by torrential rain. Main race of the weekend was the Dallas Crane Memorial for the HQ Holdens and defending Victorian champion Rodney Ratches returned to racing in style with an all the way victory. The race started in spectacular fashion as Ken Wright was turned around at turn one, sending cars off left, right and centre as they tried to avoid the stationary Kingswood. Remarkably when the dust cleared, Wright's car was dented but not destroyed and the rest of the field continued unharmed. After missing the year's second round in May due to business commitments, Rogers took over where he'd left off in the first round, dominating the race to lead home last round winner Bruce Heinrich and John Spud Wood. 34 cars fronted for the race, the highlight of the local HQ racing calendar. The big Dodge Viper of Stephen McLaughlin came out on top in the sports cars. With the Ferrari of Tony Di Felice a no-show, it was left to Rod Salmon in the Audi R8, Matthew Turnbull in the Porsche GT3 and Ian Wilson's indecently fast TVR to provide the main challenge. Wilson started alongside the Viper, but by the end of lap one the TVR was well behind and had to fight its way back through the pack. Keith Kalsolke had a major engine failure in his Nissan GTR, thankfully right on the entrance to pit lane. McLaughlin took the win from Rod Salmon, but the Audi driver was later penalised a minute to elevate Matthew Turnbull's Porsche into second place. Ian Wilson recovered to be a close third. The historic touring car saw a great fight between the Fords of Darren Smith, Bill Trengrove and Rod Hodgkin. Smith led early in the Falcon from the Porsche of Sven Burkhardt. Further back in the pack, the mini trio of Lynn Reed, Ted Brewster and John Eales were having plenty of fun at a great race. Trengrove in the Mustang was the big mover and was soon all over the leading Falcon of Smith. There was plenty of variety in the pack. Tony Petrovic in this classic E.H. Holden, Tony Gilfus in a very pretty yellow Capri and Michael Stupka in his highly distinctive Citroen 11D. Trengrove forced his way past Smith and powered his Mustang to a win over Rod Hodgkin's Falcon, who also went past Smith to take second place. Tim Rouse made a great return to saloon car racing after his big crash here earlier in the year. Rouse tied with Travis Lindorf for the weekend, but it was Lindorf who took out the main feature race from Rouse with Simon Tabernor third in the first of the Falcons. The final round of the Victorian Circuit Racing Championships will be held at the Phillip Island Grand Prix Circuit on October 13th and 14th. Why should you get your car tuned with a Dynotech Dyno? Your car will be more fuel efficient. An accurate tune means saving money at the pump. Your car is safe. It never has to leave the workshop to be tested. Increased performance. Optimise fuel consumption and more power. Reduced emissions. Protect the environment by minimising your carbon footprint. To find your nearest Dynotech workshop, go to www.dyno.com.au. Dynotech by Dynodynamics.